Hi guys! Well, today I've got some good news. I'm in my kitchen and um, it's that time of year again for lemon cello. So I've got a basket full of lemons. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And all the equipment for all the lemon cello. So that's about what we need and um, let's get started. Well, to begin with, I will put um, the ingredients on a link down below and um, it's very easy. Um, but basically, got good harvest of lemon and so we're going to start by peeling them. Need about between six and eight lemons to, and um, one, one litre of vodka. Okay, so that's the start of the recipe. All right, I'll just give you a close up of all the stuff that you might need when you make it. You're obviously going to need bottles and these jars. Those ones are some ones that I've already started that are ready to go to the second stage. So there's a first stage and a second stage. And um, so that's it. And um, I'll get peeling the lemons. So I'm going to get peeling here. Yeah. And um, Got to get the litre bottle and um, I guess you can just mix and match. Doesn't really matter because the taste is going to change anyway. And then at stage two, oh this one is stage, this is stage two, putting the vodka in. Jar's a bit big. Maybe I can put two two bottles of vodka in. Put some more lemons. Um, well, doesn't matter. There's only a little bit left in that one. So um, I've got to go out and get some more vodka. Anyway, that's it. And what you do is you seal it. And there you have it to make the lemoncello, first part of the recipe. And um, 
uh, then you let it kind of pickle or ferment. I'm sorry, yeah, not pickle. Ferment. Let it ferment for about minimum of four days to a week. Okay? Or you could keep it longer. It just gets richer and darker, as in these ones been fermenting for a while and um, now I'm going to turn them into the lemoncello today to let you see the second stage of making lemoncello. Okay? Okay, got the saucepan um, and um, you need um, one kilo of sugar or the equivalent in um, syrup. Um, I'm going to use a little bit less because I find it's a bit too sweet and those of you who are diabetic and that, I'm sure you don't want too much sugar. I prefer to use the syrup sugar because it's already melted for you and it's quite even rather than sugar crystals but um, you can use sugar crystals as well. It's all right. Um, it's the same. So, put the sugar in. Um, that's enough for me. Obviously, if you want it sort of very, very sweet like the normal lemoncello, you put, um, you just use a kilo of white sugar and um, squeeze it in. So, on a low heat um, and uh, then you need a litre, one litre of water. I use only about two thirds of a litre um, just because I like the lemoncello to be just a little bit stronger. Oops. Um, anyway, um, nothing too serious, just let it come to the boil and then leave it to cool down before we mix into a lemon chili. Okay? So, in the meantime, I might as well cut up all the lemon and um, use the lemon for some juice, which I might add into the final uh, lemon cello. So, we just get the juice. Oops. Juice. Okay, for part um, two, part three of the video, um, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this one is the one that we just made. Um, we just close it up and keep 
keep it for about a week or however long. Minimum four days. So guys, you can't drink it before four days. Okay. So, um, okay. Here I've got the um, uh, the water and the sugar. Okay. I only use half the sugar. Normally you have to use one kilo, one kilo of sugar, one liter of water, and one liter of vodka. But I only use half, half, uh, half a kilo of the sugar. Just so that it's, you know, diabetically friendly. Is that a word? Diabetically? Well, anyway, for people who can't take so much sugar. Okay, so that's cooled down a bit, enough not to boil the fumes of the vodka, because we want to keep as much as we can of the vodka. Um, and, um, Okay, here we go. We're gonna sip it. We're gonna open up these little treasures that have been. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Wow! That smells so good, guys. Um, this has been pickling away since uh, the last time that the tree sprouted. Probably was about in March or April, so a few months, you can see the colour is quite deep. I might have to add some more sugar, um, but anyway, we'll see, might might be okay. Just drain it, or, yeah, get out all the bits and pieces, whoa! And uh, wow, that looks so good. Whoa, give it a good shake. Now, um, if any of you know what to do with these peels, you might want to comment down below in the comment section. Please keep your comments polite and nice. And please like and share, subscribe or anything. I'll be doing some other things like Bakewell Tart from my home county in Yorkshire and uh, the real Yorkshire English apple crumble. Um, and uh, anyway, lots more. So subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Anyway, yes, I need to know, should I make it into candied, candied lemon flavored candy peel? That's it. Candy peel for Christmas and then dipped in chocolate and hopefully the alcohol will stay. <laughs> yep, okay. Anybody got a better idea? Comment down below. Thanks. Bye. Oh, sorry, not bye-bye. I have to drain it into the bottle. Sorry. Let's taste it first. Okay. Yeah, we've got to taste it. Okay, so this that can go into being candy lemon, candy lemon peel. Da da! A la Arisa. My funnel. Well, gosh. Do you see? That is the pure lemon cello. That's the real thing, guys. <laughs> you won't get any realer than that.
And, uh, right, I wish I had some lovely bottles, but I don't. I used to. Ideally, you'd want to use a really pretty bottle like this, you know? It's absolutely beautiful, but I'm afraid I've got some rosemary in there pickling with some olive oil, so, um, yeah, that's the last one. I got this from Ian, actually, Ian MacDonald, way back when we were in Happy Land. <laughs> Okay, so what are we going to do about the bottles? Um, we could just empty, I'll just empty one of these out, put it in here for a while. I'll just go water the plant with it because it's squeezing there. Wonder if this is stable. Oh, okay. Pour it from high. And then, yo. Wow. That bit up. Oh, shit. as well. Oh, so refreshing. Do you know, oh no, that's rice, um, the Japanese rice wine is just an excellent skin type toner, skin tonic. So just wondered whether the lemon and vodka would be just as good. Anyway, I'll let you know if I break out into spots, so, well, you'll know. Okay, here we go. Slowly. Oh, my goodness. There we have our first half bottle, lemoncello full bottle and um, that's uh, pure lemon juice the one, oh that's the one that I squeezed from the lemons and we still have some left lots and I'm out of bottles so I'm going to use a uh, old vodka bottle it says, um, it's a Thai joke really, it's a, it's a Russian Thai brand and um, I don't want to get into trouble for making the joke but it's awfully funny. Gura <laughs> vodka is what it's called and it's very very funny in Thai, if you guys can understand Thai. There we have it. Three bottles of lemoncello, homemade. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into Chinatown or somewhere, go, oh, Ikea or somewhere, get some nice bottles and I will re-bottle it. Um, and taste it. Ah, oh, we haven't tasted it. Okay, let me clean up a bit. So, here you have it. I've got some ice in mine. Anyway, have fun. Cheers. Oh my god! 
that is superb. It is best limoncello I've ever had. Mm. Wow! Woo. Hey guys, thanks for watching and um, hanging out with me while we're making limoncello. You know, when life gives you lemons, just make limoncello. That's the best thing you can do. Cheers. Have fun. Bye.